Welcome to Palms Academy. In this video, let us look at how to optimize and increase warehouse efficiency and throughput. What is warehouse optimization? Meet John. John is the head of supply chain at XYZ Corporation. In the previous video series, we saw how John wanted to create a RFP to shortlist and implement a warehouse management system to ensure his operations were conducted smoothly. John was able to shortlist and implement a WMS. Post implementation, John is happy that he is able to track the operation and he has visibility on all the activities happening within the warehouse. John can see that wrong dispatches have drastically reduced, but he is still worried. He has not seen a lot of improvement in the overall efficiency of the warehouse. He has tried improving the picking efficiency by allocating more teams and by trying to simplify and streamlining the overall process, but does not see any improvement. John is wondering why there is minimal or no improvement in the warehouse throughput. He is trying to analyze what further steps he needs to take to improve the warehouse efficiency. Can you figure out why John is not able to improve the overall efficiency of the warehouse? Can you suggest what steps needs to be taken to improve the picking efficiency and throughput in the warehouse? On careful analysis of the overall warehouse operations, John notices that there is a direct link between optimal put-away and picking. All this while, John was trying to optimize the picking process whereas the put-away process was not given due importance. Here is Yogesh, CEO of Technofort Software and Palms LOB on his thoughts on warehouse optimization. Most of the times, when we ask warehouse managers what is their topmost concern, more often than not, the answer is, I want to improve my warehouse throughput, I want to improve my turnaround time for deliveries. And every single time in such cases, we see an obsessive focus on the outbound processes to improve the throughput. However, in my experience, the missing piece of the puzzle is rarely in the outbound processes. It is almost always that the upstream processes are faulty and hence the outbound efficiencies cannot be improved any further. So here's a silver bullet to resolve your outbound throughput concerns. Focus on the inbound and other upstream processes. Are you putting away fast movers in more accessible and fast clearance bins? Do you segregate expiry sensitive or batch number tracked SKUs by their respective expiry dates or batch numbers during the put away process? For SKUs handled in multiple units of measures, do you have a clear storage policy to segregate storage by pallets, by cartons and by loose pieces? Have you defined pick phase and reserve locations for the fast movers with scheduled tasks for regular replenishment of pick phases? Remember, fast movers may be just 20% of your SKUs, but they would contribute to as much as 80% of your business. Just streamlining the inbound operations for only the fast movers will easily bring about as much as 25% to 40% improvement in your outbound efficiencies. In case the correct SKU is not stored in the correct bin or area, the picking operators will have to keep searching for the SKUs. In addition to the above points, John noticed high velocity SKUs were not stored in easily accessible locations. There was no distinction between bulk storage areas and piece storage areas, that is, pick face locations. Replenishment triggers and process were not defined. While allocating customer orders, due importance was not given to bulk storage and pick face locations. Let us see how John optimizes the overall efficiency of the warehouse. John identifies three major areas for improvement. ABC analysis based put away, replenishment, outbound operation optimization. Let us see how John goes about implementing each step. 
ABC analysis based put away. As the first step to increase the throughput of the warehouse, John optimizes the put away operation by performing ABC analysis of SKUs on a periodic basis, segregating storage locations on the basis of ABC codes. John puts in a process to store A and B classified products in high throughput bins, which are basically easily accessible locations near to the dispatch docks. He also designates some of the high throughput locations as pick face locations. John also designates bulk storage areas where full pallets as well as cartons can be stored. Replenishment As the second step to increase the throughput of the warehouse, John puts in place a replenishment strategy. John understands that accommodating the total inventory of fast movers in high throughput locations is not possible. Hence, he designates bins as pig face locations and bulk locations and sets up automated replenishment from bulk locations to pig face locations at regular intervals based on stock availability at the pig face locations. He configures SKU wise replenishment trigger FIFO, FEFO, FMFO based replenishment configurations and full pallet replenishment. John chooses to set up full pallet replenishment to ensure minimal inventory fragmentation at the bulk storage area. Outbound Operation Optimization As the third step to increase the throughput of the warehouse, John optimizes the allocation strategy to ensure optimal allocation in the form of full pallets to be allocated and picked from bulk locations, pieces to be allocated and picked from pick face locations. By implementing the steps mentioned above, John ensures that unnecessary breaking of pallets or cartons and fragmentation of inventory is avoided, minimizes picking trips and improves picking performance and warehouse throughput. For example, consider the following storage pattern for an SKU. The conversion factor for SKU 1 is as follows. One carton contains 10 pieces. One pallet contains 10 boxes or 100 pieces. In this case, if the ordered quantity is 555 pieces, the correct allocation would be 5 pallets, 5 cartons and 5 pieces based on the storage pattern. This ensures that there is no fragmentation in the bulk pallets and cartons storage areas and the pick face is not completely emptied out. This also improves the overall picking efficiency as minimum handling units need to be moved out of the warehouse. This concludes the video on warehouse optimization. Please share your feedback in the comments section below and subscribe to Palms Academy for more informational videos and blogs on warehouse management.